why have we been stationed in this godforsaken place? Yet, there are no allies here. What on the heat is unbearable? What's up everybody, it's DJ Sketch back again with another video. Hope you guys are doing good on this Sunday evening. Got a little Return to Wolfenstein gameplay for you guys on the PS2. And this game is pretty badass. I haven't played this since it came out back in the early 2000s. I think I rented this from a Hollywood video once. And that's how I even heard about this game initially to begin with. It's a lot of fun, man. And also, it's kind of weird getting used to the controls again since everything is there's no ADS. You know, all you have is the crosshair. But I did discover that you can bump up the sensitivity on the Y and X axis, and that actually made this game a lot easier to play. But a uh, little bit of backstory: like I've been playing the uh, newest Wolfenstein, The New Order, and that game's off the chain. If you haven't fucked with that yet, you definitely need to, as I know it's in the bargain bin at most GameStops and anywhere else you can find video games at this day. So do yourself a favor and pick that up. If you're lucky, there'll be a Doom beta code that hasn't been used yet. I'd suggest you check that out. But also, just wanted to make a quick video and actually just see how this looks on, on video with the uh, PS2 graphics. Because I know that this is actually, surprisingly, I thought this was running at 60 frames, but it's actually running at 30. Which is not not too bad. I mean, Battlefields were a long time ran at 30 frames too, and that game's pretty straight, so there's no reason to complain there now, is it? But uh, with this, like honestly, this this Wolfenstein is one of the few that I haven't really played as much because uh, it's like uh, probably the fourth or fifth mission in the game, the Ancient Ruins, and uh, this one it's not quite as crazy as the newest Wolfenstein. Well, obviously, but I know there was this one and there was another Wolfenstein that was on 360 that, like, I tried playing it a few times. I remember I had, like, so many rage fits on that game. It was ridiculous. That was the first control I ever broke for 360. But this one, not so much. This one's a little more casual. I guess it's, uh, sometimes I guess the difficulty can be a little bit crazy, but even still, like, I think I have it on, like, the normal setting, so this, so far it hasn't been that bad, but I know it's gonna ramp up eventually. But also, this is, uh, also this is one of those things on, like, the PS2, like, one of those games I never really got a chance to play as much, but I'm glad I'm getting a chance to check it out again. So, if you're down to play first-person shooters that don't really hold your hand as much as, like, modern-day first-person shooters, I definitely recommend picking this up if you have a PS2, or if you have a PS3 that's backwards compatible. That'll work all the same too. So if you get a chance, check out Return to Castle Wolfenstein. I'm really not going to go into the whole backstory because if you want to learn all that, there's plenty of other videos on YouTube about it. But I highly, highly, highly recommend checking out this this installment of Wolfenstein. So I know there's, I want to say one or two in between, but I know there was uh, expansions from the OG Wolfenstein on PC. But that's actually another one that I've never played, but I've heard really good things about. So if I ever come across a copy of that, that'd be great. Or if it'll re-release re that one. Again, that'd be great. So, don't really came came in this video not really having a topic just to talk about Wolfenstein. But also, I guess just kind of wanted to mention too. I guess if you also do come across the newer Wolfenstein, the new order, definitely like if you get a used copy, definitely like look around, check it, just check the uh, the manual or check the insert to see if there's a Doom three, there's a a new Doom beta code in there. Because honestly, the, when I got my used copy, I was actually surprised that the one I had actually worked. And I actually got the email from Bethesda and everything. And it's all set. Whenever they are going to release that, I'll actually be able to play it, which is going to be rad. And I'll definitely keep you guys posted whenever that comes about. Because also, this is sick in this gameplay, too, is getting so many, like, two and three pieces. Oh, man. This game's actually, like, once you, like, actually get the controls to where you can actually kind of function with it, you honestly can just come through and start smashing shit in this game, because it's actually... I was actually, I was very, very surprised to, like, once I like, kind of tweaked the settings, like, from the the, def the defaults, and actually kind of came in, was actually able to put in some work. Can't get any grenade kills, but I was getting a bunch of, like, stealths and, like, numerous headshots on this map. But yeah, this is I'm about to wrap it up here. Just want to thank you guys again for checking out the video. Come back and see us sometime. If you like what you're seeing, hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. All that good stuff. It's DJ Sketch. Over and out.